Hello developers, girls and guys, now we're gonna talk about the TCP handshake. Ready? The TCP handshake is a three-way process used by the client and server to establish a reliable and secure communication channel, for example when accessing a web page. First of all, the client sends a packet with the SYN flag set to 1 to the server, indicating that it wants to initiate a TCP connection. The SYN packet includes a sequence number that the server will use to acknowledge the connection request. As explained in our TCP header video, this sequence number is a large random 32 bits integer. You can think of this first step as someone knocking the door. When the server receives the SYN packet from the client, it adds the connection request to the SYN queue. The SYN queue is a buffer in the TCP stack of the server that stores incoming SYN requests from clients. After that, the server will respond with a SYN ACK packet. The SYN ACK packet have both the SYN and ACK flags set to 1. The ACK number of the SYN ACK packet is to acknowledge the sequence number sent by the client. It is equal to this sequence number plus 1 and it indicates that the server received the connection request. In the SYN ACK, the server will also send a random sequence number and wait for the client to acknowledge it, indicating that the server is also willing to establish a connection. You can think of it when someone opens the knocked door. When the client receives the SYN ACK packet, it responds to the server with an ACK packet, indicating that it has received the server's response and is ready to start transmitting data. The ACK number will be the server's sent sequence number added by 1. When the server receives the ACK packet from the client, it removes the connection request from the SYN queue and adds it to the accept queue. The accept queue is a buffer in the TCP stack of the server that stores the connection requests that have been acknowledged by the server and are waiting for the server to accept them. At this point, the client and server can exchange data over the TCP connection until either side decides to terminate the connection. Other than sequence numbers and acknowledgement numbers, the handshake also provides additional parameters in the SYN and SYN ACK packet. Let's talk about some of them. Here's our beautiful TCP header again. One of the parameters that are exchanged in the SYN and SYN ACK packets include the window size and window scaling which is located inside the options field. Those will be covered in the TCP flow control video. The options field can also include timestamps and maximum segment size. The maximum segment size is a parameter located in the options field that specifies the maximum amount of data a TCP segment can hold. This maximum segment size represents the largest amount of data that a sender can transmit to a receiver in a single packet without fragmentation. Now you may ask yourself, who defines the maximum segment size? Well, it's the receiver typically who specifies the maximum segment size it can receive. It is based on the maximum transmission unit size, which is the largest packet size that can be transmitted over the network, and which is defined in the data link layer. Let's say the MTU for a particular network is 1500 bytes. To calculate the maximum segment size, we need to subtract the size of the IP header and TCP header. For example, if the IP header and TCP header combined would be 40 bytes, the maximum segment size would become 1460 bytes. Here's another way to think about it. Imagine you're trying to send a long letter to a friend, but you can only send it in small envelopes because the postal service limits the size of each envelope. The maximum size of the envelope represents the MTU. In order to make sure that you're not wasting any envelopes and that your friend can still read the whole letter, you need to carefully divide the letter into smaller sections that can fit into each envelope. The maximum amount of text you can fit into each envelope without wasting any space represents the MSS. Just like how the MSS represents the maximum amount of TCP payload data that can be carried in each TCP segment without wasting any space. So that was our TCP handshake crash course. We hope you are enjoying this mini-series until now.